children? Are you ready for another fun-filled learning session? Because whether you are far or near, Teacher Joe is here to give you lessons in English the fun way. I'm a Today, we will be learning more about getting the meaning of words using the dictionary, thesaurus, and online resources. Are you ready, kids? But before we move on, let us first have a spelling drill. Listen carefully as I say the words you will be spelling. Please grab a pen and paper so we can start. Number one, please write down the word legend. It's a story about the beginning of something. Legend. For number two, the word is patient. It's a word which means a person who waits calmly for however long a time is needed. Patient. Number three, please spell the word intelligent. It's a person who knows a lot. Intelligent. The word for number four is search. This word means to look or find. Search. And for the last number, please write down the word dictionary. It is a book that contains words and their meanings. Dictionary. Are you excited to know how many correct items you got? Me too! So why don't we show the right spelling of the words? For number one, it's legend. L-E-G-E-N-D. Legend. For number two, it's patient. P-A-T-I-E-N-T. -E patient. Number three, it's intelligent. I N T E L L I G E N T. Intelligent. Number four. It's search. It is spelled as S E A R C H. Search. And last but not the least, it's dictionary. It is spelled as D I C T I O N A R Y. Dictionary. Now that we are done in our spelling drill, let's continue to learn how to use a dictionary. Are you still with me? Let us try this activity. Use this dictionary, then answer the questions that follow. Legendary. It is an adjective based on, described in, or being a myth. Example sentence, the unicorn is a legendary creature. See, mythical one. Leisure domain, it is a noun. The act or skill of performing tricks or illusions for entertainment. Example sentence, the illusionist's show is an entertaining blend of old-fashioned legerdemain and Las Vegas showmanship. See, magic. Number two meaning, the use of clever underhanded actions to achieve an end. The state legislature had to resort to some financial ledger domain to achieve the balanced budget. Trickery Legion It is a noun. Number one meaning, a large body of men and women organized for land warfare. An example sentence is, hoping to escape his past. He joined the French Foreign Legion. C. Army Number 2 meaning A great number of persons or things gathered together. 
An example sentence is, There were legions of teenagers crowding the stadium at the rock concert. See, crowd. Legionary. It is a noun. A person engaged in military service. Were you able to recall the dictionary entries? Now, here are the questions that you will have to answer. Number one, which of the following words means a large body of men and women organized for the land warfare? Is it A, leisure domain, B, legion, C, legendary? Number two, which of these is the meaning of the word legionary? Is it letter A, the use of clever underhanded actions to achieve an end? Or is it letter B, based on, described in, or being a myth? It could be letter C, a person engaged in military service. Number three question. What part of speech is the word legendary? Is it letter A, noun? Is it letter B, verb? Or is it letter C, adjective? Are you all excited to know the correct answers? Here they are! For number one, the answer is letter B, legion means a large body of men and women organized for a land warfare. For number two, the answer is letter C, legionary, means a person engaged in a military service. And for the last number, it is letter C, legendary. It is an adjective. Can you identify the difference between a dictionary and a thesaurus? A dictionary explains the meaning of a word and shows how it is spelled and used. On the other hand, a thesaurus contains words that can be used in place of another word. These are called synonyms. It also contains the opposite words or antonyms of an entry word. Let's go back to the thesaurus entry again. What are the words that you can use instead of the word ability? Did you get skill, capability, or talent? If your answer is yes, you are right. These words have the same meaning as the word ability. Remember that the dictionary and the thesaurus are very similar to one another. The parts are the same, the purpose is the same, but if you wish to avoid overuse of words, then refer to a thesaurus. These are the words that we can find in the thesaurus. The first word is legend. It is pronounced as legend. It is the synonym of fable, fiction, folklore, lore, myth, and mythology. Its antonyms are non-fiction and truth. The next word is migrant and it is pronounced as migrant. It has the following synonyms traveler, wanderer, mover, vagrant. It also has the following antonyms native and immigrant. And now for the last word, it's search, which can be a noun or a verb. It is pronounced as search. And it has the following synonyms, hunt, inquiry, investigate, chase, and quest. Its antonym as a noun is ignorance, finding. Now, let us answer the following questions. Number one. Which of the following words has the same meaning as the word legend? Is it letter A, chase? Or letter B, immigrant? Or is it letter C, myth? Number two, which of the following is correct? Letter A, legend. 
has the following synonyms fable, fiction, folklore, lore, myth, mythology, and the following antonyms nonfiction and truth. Is it letter B? Migrant has the following antonyms traveler, native, mover, vagrant, wanderer, and its synonyms are native and immigrant. And finally, letter C, search. Its antonyms are hunt, inquiry, investigate, chase, quest. And its synonyms as a noun are ignorance and finding. Number three, what is the antonym or opposite word of the word migrant? Is it letter A, mover, or letter B, native, or could it be letter C, vagrant? Number four, what word has the same meaning as the following words, hunt, inquiry, investigate? For letter A, it's legend. For letter B, it's migrant. And for letter C, it's search. And last but not the least, number five. Hunt, inquiry, investigate, chase, and quest are of the word search. Is the answer letter A, antonyms, or letter B, pronunciation? Or maybe it's letter C, synonyms. Hey, I'm so excited to know if you have learned our lesson well. Let's check your answers, shall we? The answer for number one is letter C, myth. It is the synonym of legend. For number two, the answer is letter A. The word legend has the following synonyms. Fable, fiction, folklore, lore, myth, mythology, and the following antonyms, non-fiction or truth. Number three's answer is letter B, native. It is the antonym or opposite word of migrant. The answer for the next item, number four, is letter C. Search. It is the same as hunt, inquiry, investigate. And for the last number, the answer is letter C. Hunt, inquiry, investigate, chase, quest, and search are synonyms of each other. How was it kids? Did you get a perfect score? If you got a score of 4 to 5, bravo! You really are learning well. I'd like to congratulate you for that. But if you got a score of 3 and below, don't worry because you just need more time to study the lesson again. I trust you. You can do it. Don't you worry, because you can do it. You just need more time to get it. I can prove it. You can do it. Improvement is waving at him. Oh, hi there. I'm just using my laptop to search for the meanings of some unfamiliar words I read in my book. You see, if you have access to the internet, you can also search information using the search engines like Google. Can you also use online resources in getting the meanings of words? If your answer is yes, you got it right! Type the word you want to know the meaning of in the search bar. Then click Enter. All information related to the words you typed will appear on your screen. There are also online dictionaries and thesauri that you can use for free. Oh, thesauri is the plural form of thesaurus, by the way. This is what you're going to do in our next activity. Rewrite each word in alphabetical order. Number one. Skunk, skyline, skiing, skyscraper.
Number 2. Rainbow, Reindeer, Raindrop, Railroad, Raincoat. Number 3. Craftsmanship, Crank, Cranky, Craft, Crawl. Are you ready to check your answers, children? Number 1. The correct alphabetical order is Skiing Skunk Skyline Skyscraper Number 2. The correct alphabetical order is Railroad Rainbow Raincoat Raindrop Reindeer And for number 3, the correct alphabetical order is craft, craftsmanship, crank, cranky, crawl. Here is another activity for you to engage in. Use your thesaurus to replace the underlined words. Here are the words in the thesaurus entry that you will be using. Excited. It is an adjective. It has a synonym of enthusiastic, eager, and delighted, and has an antonym of bored, not excited, and calm. Wet. It is an adjective. It has a synonym of soaked and drenched, and has an antonym of arid and dry. Care. It is a noun. It has a synonym of caution, watchfulness, and alertness. And has an antonym of carelessness, apathy. Softly. It is an adverb. It has a synonym of smoothly, delicately, and gently. And has an antonym of uncarefully. Peaceful. It is an adjective. It has a synonym of calm, quiet, and steady. And has an antonym of agitated, loud, and disturbed. Now, replace the underlined words in these sentences. Number 1. Ramon was excited about the first day of school. Number 2. All the things inside my bag got wet in the rain. Number 3. She crossed the busy street with care. If you are going to use the synonym for the word excited, you can use enthusiastic, eager, and delighted. Here is how to do it. Ramon was enthusiastic about the first day of school. Are you still enthusiastic to learn more? Here is another activity for you to indulge in. Choose the word that will complete the sentence. Here are the words that you will use. Dictionary, thesaurus, guide words, alphabetically, entry words, Online Resources Number 1. A blank is a reference book that contains words with their meanings, pronunciations, parts of speech, spellings, and definitions. Number 2. The words in a dictionary and thesaurus are arranged blank. Number 3 sentence. Blank, serve as help in finding the words easily. Number 4 sentence. A blank is a book like a dictionary that contains the synonyms and antonyms of words. Number 5. 
all words in a dictionary and thesaurus are called blank. And for the last sentence, I can use blank, blank, or even blank to get the meaning of words. The correct answer for number one is dictionary. It is a reference book that contains words with their meanings, pronunciations, parts of speech, spellings, and definitions. The answer for number two is alphabetically. The words in a dictionary and thesaurus are arranged alphabetically. For number three, it's guide words. Guide words serve as help in finding the words easily. The correct answer for number four is thesaurus. A thesaurus is a book like a dictionary that contains the synonyms and antonyms of the words. Second to the last sentence, the answer is entry words. All words in a dictionary and thesaurus are called entry words. And for sentence number six, the answers are dictionary, thesaurus, and online resources. These are the three ways which you can use in getting the meanings of words. That's it for the day, my dear children. In our next lesson, we will learn how to note significant details on various text types. And before I say goodbye, I want to leave you with this quote from Heinrich Mann. A house without books is like a room without windows. Learning is always fun, so continue reading, kids. Again, this is Teacher Jo. See you again next time.